Hi there. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on setting up your categories, tax types, and tracking groups within the admin dashboard of Expend. So if we quickly take a look in, obviously we're in the home page here. All you need to do is on the left hand side, go to settings, and you'll see at the top categories. Once we get into this section, we can see here the categories that we've got set up that you'll be able to reflect within your dashboard as well. We will provide you with some default categories, but this is going to be around how you can set up new categories. So in the top right corner, all you need to do is click the new category button, give it a name, select the tax, select the tax type applicable to that category, which I will show you how to set those up soon, and then select a group that that category falls within. If you wanted to put in any search terms to make it easier to find later on, then you're able to do that here. So we can see here is the full list of um, the categories that we have set up in our account. And you can see the search terms are presented below with the tax types in the middle there. You can also edit any existing um, categories that you've got, probably to add in um, any uh, search terms or anything that you might need to help you out when you're looking for them in the future. Next, we'll take a look at the tax types. And these will be the what map across to your categories when we're setting those up to ensure that you've got the tax types correct for each category. When you're adding a new tax type in, again, in the top right corner, click Add Tax Type. Select the rate that would be applicable. Select the country for which that is valid. Hit create and you'll see it will place it within there. For our QuickBooks and Zero's cust Zero customers, these will automatically sync across uh, via the API once you've hit integrate uh, into and connected your accounts. The final bit that we're going to look at today is the tracking groups. So these are provided and available um, for users to be able to granulate the data that they're providing to admins. So to give a better picture of what it is that they're submitting. Again, to add a tracking group in the top right corner, you can either import these if you're a Zero QuickBooks customer, or you can create that within Expend. You'd name the group. I did earlier and then here you can see the options that we've got available to us to add a new option add the tracking option and hit create if you're no longer in need of this tracking group anymore you can archive or disable it or if you needed to rename it you can update the name of the tracking group here what this means for um, your users is that when they're creating an expense, they'll then be able to provide this data for you. So here you can see where you can select, select the tracking group that they've used and it will automatically fill in the tax type. But if this one was slightly different, we're able to update that. And here you can see the list of the tracking groups that we've got available. So you add the group and then you select the type. As ever, you can add any job numbers or notes, and you can also add different tracking groups to the same expense and different categories by adding a split. This is really useful for if you've ever got the case whereby you have two different purchases on the same receipt, you're able to select the same, the different tracking groups that are applicable and including the different tax types. If you're ever stuck and looking for where to find and edit your categories, tax types, or tracking groups, you can always use the search bar at the top as well. For more information as ever, you can contact us via our live chat in the bottom right hand corner to help you get set up, get in touch with your account manager, or visit help.expend.io. Have a great day.